time, my children, to confess your metal sins. Hello and welcome to A Quest for Metal. Today we are doing a weird video. We're going to be confessing our heavy metal sins, controversial opinions, what we've done which is probably seen as bad in the metal community, what we don't like, all the juicy stuff, all the fun stuff, and you are going to help me along with it. You're going to put in the comments some of your controversial metal opinions. Maybe you hate Metallica. Maybe you love Lulu more than fucking Ride the Lightning. That's pretty, That that's a metal sin right there. Maybe, just maybe, you hate going to gigs. Maybe you pirate your metal. Now that's a metal sin. So that's the name of the game. And I'm going to share with you some of the sins that I have throughout the years as a metal fan. The first sin, the first sin and one of the greatest is Black Sabbath. One of the first, well, pretty much the first heavy metal band. I never really got into that much. I still enjoy them. I enjoy the music. I like, you know, most of the albums I've heard, I like. I haven't heard the entire discography. That's a sin. I haven't heard the entire discography. But the sin I'm going to mention regarding Black Sabbath is I much prefer Dio to Ozzy. Mob Rules and Heaven and Hell are some of the best Black Sabbath albums. That I said it. Dio is in a league of his fucking own. I love Dio so much. His vocals just... They're, they're so good. Ozzy's has always been okay. I've never, never been like a massive Ozzy fan. So this is like a big sin. This is like the number one sin of metal, but... He's fine. I like the songs and like the albums he's been in, but if I was going to choose, I'd choose Mob Rules and Heaven and Hell. And that's not saying that the others are bad, because I still love Masters of Reality, and I still love the self-titled. Those two are fan-fucking-tastic. But, you know, I just prefer Dio. Yeah, much prefer Dio. That's my first sin. My second sin. I'm a big prog fan. I love Dream Theater. I love Opeth. I love Fate's Warning. I love loads of these proggy, epic bands. But there's one I can't fucking stand. And that is Queensryche. And people say Operation Mindcrime is a 10 out of 10 masterpiece album. And I listened to it and I absolutely hated it. I didn't care for the singing one single bit. I actually hated it. I give it a 0 out of 10. That's probably harsh. That's probably harsh. But this is Metal Sins, and I'm going to go all out. I hate Operation Minecraft. I hate Queensryche as a whole. They don't do anything for me. It's mainly the singing. Like, the story is, as well, sure, it's kind of interesting, but it's it's it didn't do anything for me. It didn't really do anything for me. The story I didn't care for. The singing I didn't care for. Musicianship was good. Musicianship was good. But the songs themselves, eh. Nah, nah, Operation Mindcrime, not a big fan of that album. Not a big fan of it, which is probably a sin, because it gets 10 out of 10s everywhere, but not everyone's the fucking same. So, 10 out of 10 to you is a piece of shit for me. So, piece of shit for breakfast. Don't want it. Don't want it. Don't need it. They can just fuck off. More Metal Sins coming up, not related to music or albums now. Just general metal lifestyle. Hair? Hair? My accent makes it feel like I'm going, huh, huh, huh. Hair. Uh, I don't give a fuck. Like, long hair looks stupid on me. It, it looks good on some people, which is great. Most metal heads have long hair. Looks good on them. On me, I look like one of the Beach Boys. Doesn't work. Greasy as hell. Doesn't look good. Doesn't look good at all. You should see me in school when I had my long hair and like my Iron Maiden shirt on. It just looks stupid. So, yeah, long hair on me. Nah, don't care for it. Don't care for it. Also, in concerts, I don't think moshing is important, to be honest. It's fun, sure, but I don't think it's as important as people think it is. Um, it is fun. Walls of Death are fun. I've been in all the moshes, all the Walls of Death. Crowd surf. I've done pretty much everything. I've been to fucking so many festivals and gigs but now I'm at the point where I just I want to be at the front barrier most of the times I'll go to the front barrier and I just headbang 
and I listen to the music and I enjoy the music. Um, not saying that moshing is bad. I'm just saying, for me, I don't want to do it anymore. I want my face right in the crotches of the musicians. I want to be right there, up the front, headbanging, so my neck kills for an entire month. That's what I want. That's what I like. Moshing and stuff. Eh, leave that for the kids. Leave that for the kids. Not, not for me. Not for me. Now this is one that is a big fad of at the moment, a big craze, and it is vinyl. I do not care about vinyl. I don't give a fuck about vinyl. I don't really care about keeping CDs either, to be honest. Um, it's the digital age. I like everything at the tip of my fingers. I like having the subscriptions and listening to everything whenever I want. Having like a big space for all these vinyl and all these like cassettes and CDs and stuff. It's cool if you have it. I don't have enough space and it kind of just is too much clutter. And if your house burns down, you're fucked. I mean, you could say the same about on the digital, like if a virus hits it, all your music's gone, but then it's just a click of the button and you've got them all back. So I kind of just counteracted that argument. So yeah, I, I much prefer digital to vinyl or anything, and it just takes up too much space. It's mainly the space thing. I don't, not everyone has enough room or money to collect all that shit. It's much cheaper, it's much easier for streaming. It doesn't help the artist as much, but I go to as many gigs as I can and I buy as much merch as I can. So that helps the artists out. And I do the subscriptions so they get some from that. Not as much as like cassettes and shit, but they still get it from it. So, I do not care for vinyl. Another festival sin. I'm, oh, I'm gonna get wrecked on this. This video, I'm gonna get wrecked in the comments. I don't like to drink too much on festival days. I like drinking loads on the days before. Thursdays, Wednesdays, on the festivals. Drink loads. But on the actual days, I do not like missing the music. I don't like going to the toilet during a set because it just ruins the fucking set. I wanna be there from the beginning to the fucking end of the day, drinking as little as I can, eating as little as I can, sometimes I don't even eat, just so I can hear the music. It sounds kind of crazy, but I want to be at the front, I want to be right up there in the music, because I love the music, I can have a fucking burger after it, doesn't bother me. So yeah, drinking loads, not priority for me when I'm listening to music. Here's some which will piss off some people. <laughs> It's about missing some bands. I went to Bloodstock a couple of years ago when I think, who is it that headlined? Um, t two bands headlined, I think Gojira was one of them. And I, I don't know if it was Judas Priest that was the other, or Megadeth or something, but the third headliner was Nightwish. And <clears throat> we went home before they started. <laughs> I know, I know I missed the chance to see them headline. Yep, that's right. I missed the chance because we decided we were tired and we went home. And I just said I'm all about the music, but <clears throat> this was a couple of years ago, before the channel, yeah? I was not into Nightwish then. I went off them, as I said in previous videos. So I didn't really care for them. So we left and it was like, ah, fair enough. We're gonna go home, we're gonna sleep. Just gonna eat some normal food, gonna be fun. And now, I regret it. So it's a big sin, because I really want to see them live. I've never seen them live. So I don't know what I was doing with that. Don't know what I was doing with that. That is a big metal sin, to be honest, because I really want to see them now. And it's not the only one. I also missed, I don't know if it's the same Bloodstock, it might have been a different one. I missed Winter Sun headlining one of the tents because I was asleep. <clears throat> that's, a, that's a big sin, because they're one of my favorite bands now. And I decided to sleep instead of watching them. I don't know, I don't know, but I only got into them after that, so you can chalk both of those up to that. Talk both of those up to that, but it's still, still pretty sinny. Some sins relating to my channel now. Now, I'm not the only one. I know other people that have done it, and they still do it. Overacting on reactions, you know, it's one of the reasons I stopped reacting, because I don't want to become fake. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be fake. And I don't just want to shit on music either. So, I, it's all, it's better to just cut it out. 
cut it out because or else I'll turn super fake because some of the reactions I did fake I wasn't too into them they were just kind of fine I never like I never like properly hated any but I was never like like whoa and you want to please people but now I found out I couldn't give a shit about pleasing anyone so I'm not gonna do reactions fuck them but yeah I did I did kind of fake some and you a lot of people would you know they want those clicks, they want those views, they want those likes. So they're going to kind of overemphasize what's happening. When in reality, you just kind of like, this is good. That, that's it. That's it. No one's going to be screaming around the room like, oh! like some ape in a frenzy. No. 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 Cut it out. Ain't number one relating to my channel. Some of the rankings. One in particular, one ranking, irks me. It's the Cradle of Filth one. Because I was kind of too harsh on one of my favourite albums. Because people don't like it as much, but now I'm kind of, I don't care what people think. So, Cradle of Filth ranking. Here we go. I had Fornography, like, quite low down. It's actually one of my favourites. It might actually be my favourite. So, bump Fornography up to S tier. It's in S tier. It's the most fun Cradle of Filth album. I love every single fucking song. Temptation is amazing. I love how cheesy all the songs are. I love how fun they are. It's not beat as hell. Phonography is probably one of my favourite Cradle of Filth songs. So it's going into S tier. And I put it kind of low down because I was afraid. But yeah, S tier. Big sin. Now the final sin. The sin to rule all sins. I kind of like Limp Biscuit. They're fine, they're fun, um, especially live. Like, I wouldn't listen to it, I mean, I could listen to it now, but it's not gonna really do much for me. But live setting, they're great. They're fantastic. And I saw them at Download a couple of years ago, quite a few years ago now, when Machine Head was a bit lower than Limp Biscuit. Limp Biscuit had a great set. Uh, no, yeah, Limp Biscuit was after. Limp Biscuit had an amazing set, it was really fun, everyone jumping around. Good time. Machine Head got really pissy. That Limp Biscuit was higher than them, so he, he had like a little tantrum on the stage. Mr. Flynn uh, is really unprofessional. Like, <laughs> it just makes them seem like babies. We'll get to the Machine Head ranking soon, don't worry. Um, it's like, <sighs> come on. They're higher than you because more people know about Limp Biscuit than Machine Head. Machine Head's music is better, but it doesn't fucking matter. You don't just take a tantrum on the fucking stage. It, what are you doing? What are you fucking doing? But yeah, Limp Bizkit is fine life. I listen to them, I watch them again. And the final one, I said Five Finger Death Punch is one of my least favourite bands. They're still not that good, but I still listen to Way the Fist, War is the Answer, and the newest album, they're all fine. They're fine. I listen to them um, a couple of times over. Uh, I still like the first two albums. Um, the one with Over and Under It, is that American Capitalists? That's fine as well. They, nothing really stands out as like overly hating about their music. You know what I mean? I don't overly hate them. They're just one of the lower bands on my radar. So I don't hate them. I said I hated them. I don't hate them. Latest album was good. Latest album was good. Um, the reason I said that I hated them so much and the reason they are one of the lower ones is because I saw them live and I had to walk away because he was having an acoustic guitar and he was trying to get the crowd to mosh but the crowd weren't having it and he wouldn't start the song and it pissed me right off so that's more Ivan's antics than the actual music so the music is fine don't hate it don't hate it. I hate Queen's right more because I literally cannot listen to that I can listen to like over and under it Fre Freckle and Hyde yeah sure Freckle and Hyde um, I can listen to those songs, they're fun. They're kind of like brain dead entertainment, but they're fun. I can't listen to Queen's Right. So, I don't know what that says about me, but. But those are some of my metal sins. Hopefully, you didn't get triggered by some of them, but if you did, who cares? Put them in the comments below. Put your own sins as well. Tell me, my children, what are your metal sins? Let me know in the comments below, and we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.